Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you have started off to a great morning. You're looking forward to an awesome week. Um, this morning, I just have a message to the women. Um, if you have been molested, raped, an abusive relationship, um, abandonment issues by your parents, daddy issues, whatever it is, this morning, I hope I can encourage you to go from a victim to a victor, to go from a victim to a victor. You see, sometimes we don't realize that we'll find ourselves stuck in the cycle as women will start going and then we'll get stuck again. We'll start going and then we get stuck again. And it's like we find ourselves in this cycle, like this rat race trying to get out of it, but trying to understand how come we can't move forward. We can only go so far. And the reason why you're able to go so far, because whatever it is that has happened to you that you have not confronted yet, you can't overcome that thing because you have not decided to confront it. And see, what happens is when things have happened to us, and one thing you have to understand, it's not your fault. Shame, guilt, and all of that will try to come in and tell you that it's not your fault, but it's not your fault. But you have to be willing to confront it. Because in order for you to heal, you will have to deal. See, I was 30 years old when I decided to confront the molestation, the daddy issues, and all the things that continue to keep me stuck in a cycle, in a rat race. I will continue to try to move forward in life, but I still found myself back at that six-year-old little girl that hadn't healed. And the reason why she hadn't healed because of the fact that I was too afraid to deal in order to heal. See, I had to make the decision to go from a victim to a victor. And in order for us to do that, we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to really look at our situation. We have to be willing to go to God and be open and honest in how we feel and be honest about what it is that is keeping us stuck. So this morning, I hope you're encouraged not to continue to allow yourself to stay drowned in that fear. That fear that wants to paralyze you. You have to understand that when the lady with the issue of blood reached out to Jesus, it was her faith. The fact that she even believed that she could be healed. And one main key of what took me from being a victim to a victor, because I had the faith to believe that I could be healed and made whole because I had the faith to believe that that six-year-old little girl was not going to keep me from my destiny, from who God has created me to be and all of the other stuff that happened in my life. So women, be encouraged to know that you must deal in order to heal. You will never be able to overcome anything you are not willing to confront. God has a great plan and purpose for your life. So this morning, I hope you decide to be like the woman with the issue of blood, to reach out and have the faith to reach out to Jesus and know that you can be healed and made whole. I hope you all have an amazing day on purpose. Remember, woman, you are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. What happened to you is not who you were created to be. What happened to you is a story. And out of that, God wants to get the glory. Step out in faith today. Have a great day on purpose.